All right. Hello, Suresh. Present, please, and sir. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> yes, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, actually, yeah, actually, we have been talking for the last about one hour, <laughs> and this is yeah. a recording version of our conversation. So, uh, but we were talking about the uh, the risk management, the importance of risk management, and also the importance of trend follow. And um, I thought it's important to share the conversation. That's why, uh, thank you to Thresh's uh, kindness, uh, I decided to record the this conversation and uh, share the conversation again on this uh, YouTube channel. So, uh, okay. yes, uh, Mr. Thresh, um, so what what do you think about the importance of risk management? Like uh, I, I say 2% or 1% per trade, risk management is important, but um, how does it affect psychologically when you take trades? Yeah, as for uh, psychologically, the main thing uh, trend only. For example, I repeat the last video I also mentioned this uh, trend following is very important, like uh, daily and four hours, and uh, one hours and 13 minutes. Mm. This uh, Ichimoku, like uh, Kumo, uh, up and down, this uh, down trend, uh, up trend, mm. this follow this will be very, very clearly. Mm. For example, uh, the daily, mm. there is a down trend, mm. and uh, Kujisun also down. And uh, if you found that there will be some small retracement uh, will be there. So this retracement will be confirmed on uh, one hour and 30 minutes. There we can see where the problem is there. Mm. It, is, it is on retracement. Mm. So on uh, one hour, uh, so on daily and four hour, it may be daily it will show down, mm. four hour it will show up, mm. and one hour it will be up down like this. Mm. So the main things we will we have to identify. Mm. So the trend in uh, daily down means in uh, one hour also it should be down, mm. must be down. Mm. Then only these two confirmation, we can go for uh, 15 minutes or 5 minutes. Mm. So we know now right. where to uh, to take the entry the points. Mm. Like previously I told, like we are having three confirmation, four confirmation. Mm. By this, if you know this idea, where to take this, uh, uh, this uh, trade, the entry point, we know where is the risk management. You mm. can comes to know. They can twenty percent, yeah, sorry, mm. two percent, mm. yeah, one percent. Already what our key set pitch does. So if there is if you will, some any doubt, so this market will go down or it will go up. In that case, we will use take only one percent mm. on that uh, right. risk management. That's true. If you are confident, then we go for two percent. Mm. For example, if you instead of three, you get four like mm. this. This market will go. Mm -hmm. So this is the main thing. Mm -hmm. So we are right. a risk management. So we will not lose a lot of money. Like, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, 13, 40, 50 pips we are keeping down. It's all useless. Mm -hmm. But even if you are keeping the 30 pips, 40 pips even, mm -hmm. this risk management, 2%, 1%, mm -hmm. we have to follow. Very simple yeah. strategy, this one. That's true. Exactly. Yeah, things, uh, yeah. And another thing, the same time that, for example, in news also, if I say daily, for example, mm. when I wake up, first I check the news. Today, what mm. is the news? Mm. Will be impact on the market. Mm. For example, AUD, as Australian, if you, there is a news is there. Mm. If I am uh, taking the pair for AUD in mid times like this, mm. so I will concentrate news also. So this news will not affect our stop loss. So immediately, I am jumping to the market, so it should not affect it. Mm. So the news also one of the important twenty percent I told, but eighty percent is a technical analysis. The all the price movement daily we will comes to know mm. how the status of the how the range the market is going up and down, mm. ranging or trending markets. Mm. This is the main thing. That's true. Yeah, thank you for sharing it. I think that's all I understand and totally agree. Yeah. So uh, you have to follow the trend direction first of all. But if you only if you kept the trend direction, but if you can confirm it in the lower time frames and get this exact entry edge, you might get caught by these small retracements along along the way, and you get stop losses. So I say stop losses are not bad if you can manage it, and the risks or the losses are not bad if you can manage it. But the losses becomes very bad if you cannot manage it. If you don't have any decent risk management skills, then the losses can be harmful to you. 
And especially, so let's say you see Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, and you see downtrend, and you take a sell at some point, but sometimes the market is watching you, and the market goes backwards, and you get the stop loss. And if you this, if this kind of things happens many many times, or if this kind of things happens consecutively, then uh, you might start to lose confidence. You might start to lose. Uh, you might start to frustrate, and that you might start to uh, doubt whether this strategy works or not. And if you, especially if you have the more than two percent risk per trade, then uh, it affects psychology psychology very much. And uh, you might question your own strategy and you might think about switching to other strategies and you just keep going you will be in the journey of looking for holy grails that was me before yeah because uh, if, uh, if the strategy doesn't work then I tend to switch to other strategy and looking for holy grail but afterwards I found that that's not the answer that that's not the way we should be if you have to be consistently trading on this world but uh, yeah, so the retracements are that do happen, and these uh, you know waves do happen in the market when it's up up trending, down trending, and that's why I recommend everybody to look for confirmations on lower time frames. But even so, you have the stop losses. The market goes against you on the lower time frames. So, and that's why, as we mentioned, the risk management is very important. One percent or two percent risk management is important and not really recommend to go for like 5%, never for 10%. Yeah, so that's the very important risk management. And also, as you mentioned, the, the news is also important. Sometimes without knowing the news coming out, you take trade and the market just spikes and uh, it actually touches top loss very quickly. So uh, in terms of the you know, risk management, it really connects to the news website what how you can uh, watch the news and how you can be properly prepared psychologically is also a part of risk management too so we have to think about like uh, risk in terms of the money itself equity and also risk psychologically too and both are very important so that's why i say in the gts that the uh, the strategy is universal you know everybody uh, can have information about Ichimoku or my strategy but the only thing that is important is a risk management and also it's connected to the psychological management so yeah so do you feel comfortable now after the GTS for this risk management and also psychological management when you take trades? Yes uh, as per uh, your trade you already very clearly mentioned on our GTS on 5 or 15 minutes when we are there to take the trading that means we are confidently we are entering into the market this market mm -hmm. will move like that only we know but one other thing you mentioned there's a, a, a news also you have to follow on that daily basis so this psychologically risk management also how much you have to take mm -hmm. you know the confidence when the market comes up we we'll know this market will go in the direction mm -hmm. This is one thing. A trending market, there's no way. Mm. It will follow as per trending, we have to follow. Mm. This the risk management 1%, 2%, it is very, very important you are telling on the GTS to follow very strictly. And you showed us all this on the Excel sheet also, mm. how much the trade we have to do, 2%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For even if you are going for 40 pips also, mm. the percentage wise. Mm. 2% only or 1% to follow. Mm -hmm. So it is really before losing like a, too much amount we are losing. Now mm -hmm. the risk management, we are stopping your law mm -hmm. in that account. Mm -hmm. So it is very good. Mm -hmm. So really how to do it on exactly <laughs> this one. Great, great. Yeah, that's why I created my own spreadsheet. And that was only for my personal use before I do the GTS. I created that by my own Back then, it was not that beautiful layout, <laughs> because, but as for, for the GTS members, I colored the columns and uh, I lay out nicely like that, so that you know um, on which particular trade was a loss, and which particular trades were win, and also uh, how many risk per trade you take in per monthly basis or yearly basis. The spreadsheet is, is to know also the risk management, and also whether you're doing 
right or wrong on the risk management on your past trades. So if you really start to focus not only the entry chances or exit timings, but if you really start to focus on the risk management, I think that's the key to success and at least the key to become a non-losing trader, as I say. It's correct, yeah. We are now uh, really a non-losing trader only. <laughs> really before uh, unimaginable. Very good, really. Mm. Risk management is uh, in this very important things we have mm. to follow. Mm. If you mm. think that market will uh, go up as per trending also, mm. if you're not following risk management, it's our mistake. That's true. We should follow the, we should follow the rules. What mm -hmm. uh, in uh, GPS, uh, Global Trading School, what they are teaching, we must to follow this one. Mm -hmm. So it is good for us. Mm -hmm. Our uh, bank, our money account will be grow up. Mm -hmm. So we will be in peaceful. Really, is one of the mm -hmm. good techniques what we learn. And the market also so not easy that much. Right. If you not follow these techniques, we not follow the rules. It is useless. Mm -hmm. Don't That's jump. True. Sometimes Never jumping, jump. that is, uh, I'm uh, thinking that is too over. Mm -hmm. You follow the rules, simple thing. Mm -hmm. If you got uh, a slow strategy, it was very good mm -hmm. for me. My mm -hmm. Very good. Great to hear that. <laughs> yeah. And I'm so glad that the you know the essence of the risk management and also importance of risk management now. Yeah, because without this, we cannot be success. We cannot success. You know, you have to, like I say every time on the public lab also, that you have to put the seal belt when you're on the highway. Otherwise, when you when car crash, you know, you're out. Right? So it's like the same, risk management everywhere in the life too. We have to think about risk management. We have to think about the future, the hope, and the joy, and also these uh, achievement goals. But at the same time, we have to also think about the risk too. Yeah. So there are all, always two sides, black and white, or uh, there are only always two sides to think about. Yes, sir. So already your strategy already very clearly mentioned psychology and risk management. Mm. Very clearly you mentioned. So you have we must to follow this one. Very good. 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 Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you for the uh, time today, Suresh. Yes. So uh, yeah. So uh, it was a very nice conversation. So uh, yeah, I will uh, talk to you again. Okay, sir. Yeah, all right. So, uh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, sir. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay. So, thank you, sir. Thank bye. you. Bye for now. Bye bye, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Okay, bye.